Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to how you can use EasyBib to manage your research projects, um, to take notes, and to keep track of all your work around a project. So when you log into EasyBib, this is usually what you see. So we're going to go over here to where it says All Projects, and click on that. And then, I already have a project here, but we're not going to look at that one right now. But see where it says Create a New Project? You're going to click on that and it automatically defaults to MLA 7 which is what you're going to be using most of the time unless your teacher tells you differently so just leave it right there and then I'm going to type in let's just say that I'm doing a Silk Road project because that's something that some of you have to do so you give it, your, you give it a name so that you can differentiate it because once you start using this for more than one project you're going to need to have a way to keep track of them and then you'll notice here it is right here now, if you have some sources, you click here on Bibliography, and you can enter in your sources. Um, now, if you want to take notes, you go over here to where it says Notebook, and you click on that. And what you'll see here is you have this big area in the middle that's kind of like a virtual desktop. And then over here, click where it says New Note, and I will show you how you can do note cards using EasyBib. This is pretty cool. So up here in the first box is the title. Now let's just say that I'm working on Egypt for the Silk Road. And this one is about trade. So you give it a title so that you understand when you look at the card what, it, what the notes are going to be about. And then if you've already put sources into your bibliography, they will appear here in a drop-down list, which is really pretty cool. So then you can always keep track of where your information came from. Now, this box right here, if you have any direct quotes, you type them in here. And always put quotes around it, even though it does say quote, but always put quotes around it to just to remind you that it's not your own words. Now, there's a paraphrasing box also, and your own words are going to go here. So I know you know, all know how to do that, but it's really nice that you have an extra box here because it keeps it separate and you're never going to get confused about, you know, what's your words and what is someone else's words. Now this comment box, this is kind of interesting. This is a place for your own thinking. Maybe ideas about how this fits in with your research question. Now it's always a good idea to take, send a, you know, put a little note to yourself because, you know, you take your notes and then sometimes it's, you know, a week or ten days before you start to write your, actually write your paper. And you might not remember why you thought this particular piece of information was so important. Now the box that says identifier, you put a page number, if you have one. So books, magazine articles, things like that. Now there's a little thing here with a plus and it says organize, and if you click on that, it gives you some further options, and these are pretty cool. Um, you can group your cards by subject, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So once, if you've got different groups, again, you've got a drop-down menu. Um, tags, it's, it's kind of like you, you attach a keyword to it so that you can find your notes more easily later on. So this is a card about trade. could also be called economy. And let's just say I'm going to turn this card red. Scroll a little bit more and click where it says Save Note. Now here's our note right here. And you'll notice... Well, you can't really see it, it's out of the frame, but over here on the left you've got some tags. So you can click on Economy, and there's your note card. So that's pretty cool. And then go back up here into the corner where it says visualize, you get back to your note cards. So I'll show you what happens if you type another note. Let's just pretend there's a quote here. Save note. So now I've got two. And you can drag and drop so you can help organize. Now if you decide that you think these cards are about the same thing, you drag it over and it becomes a group. you decide that you don't want them together, you can separate them as well. And if 
you want to create an outline, you can drag it over here. And you're starting to build an outline. And if you decide you don't like the order, you can change the order. Now up here, you can put in your thesis or your research questions so that you always remember what it is and you have it handy. Now these are just some of the basics. Also, you'll notice up here there's a save button. Um, it auto saves every few minutes, but it's always a good idea to check it and make sure that you save your work. Um, and then there's also a print button. So if you click on print, you can select your options and then you can actually have a printable version. So say you're doing an, an in-class essay writing and you want to bring your notes into class, that's an easy way that you can do that. And these are just a few basics on how to get started with easy bib note cards.